Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here, because as you well remember, I have just completed a hand tool only knife. Made this only with hand tools. I learned a lot. I made a ton of mistakes, but I want that education to continue. I have never, ever, 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 ever worked in leather, and today I want to see if I can make a sheath for this knife. Thank you for joining me. It's gonna be another great day, and it is a pleasure to bring you along. Hercule Dirkly, so I am thinking I want to make a sheath that's going to probably come up to about here on the thing. And I like the idea of a sheath that's uh, that sat here in that back little bit of your belt, which means that, you know, you could be sat down with it. You know, you can be walking around and not really have it catching on too much stuff and not have it flopping around on your side like this. So it's going to be like a back four or five o'clock position sheath, horizontal, come up to about here on it. And I think I want to dye the leather. So it's kind of this type of color with the, uh, with the coca burlo, a little bit of a dark brown. So I I've got some... Okay, there we go. It's dead now. We killed a cow. So we've got some scraps of leather. I've got to plan out how this is going to work. Man, I sure wish I knew what I was doing. The, the trouble is I don't really have any leather working tools. So I'm probably going to... Who are you? I'm James. I make stuff from leather. You make stuff from leather? Yeah. How did you get here? I drove. What is that? This is a head knife. Head knife? It wasn't for me! Please! <laughs> no! no it's, it's for leather. Leather, I'll, I'll teach you how to cut leather. Oh, you, you teach me how to, how, to, how to make this sheath. Great, without cutting my head off. Well. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take it. That's good, good <laughs> enough, good enough. This is awesome. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Right, so where do we start? Well, we probably need to sketch out a design. <laughs> The first thing that James had us do is we took a piece of paper and we folded it in half. This means that as we draw on one side, we can then cut it out and make it all even. We traced around the knife. We added a material for the welt because there are in fact three layers on the edge side of the sheath. I have now learned that. Thank you, James. We make sure there's enough thickness at the opening of the sheath to mean that the blade can actually come out without being stopped by the leather. And then we had to think about straps. I had decided that I didn't want two straps. Instead, I wanted one wider strap. So this point, it's time for us to cut it out with an X-Acto knife. So now we're going to cut this out of the leather. Apparently there's such thing as a grain in the leather. Whoa! There is a grain in the leather. How does that happen? So if you think about it, it's on the cow. It wants to curve this way around the cow. This this actually looks like it's come from down near an armpit, leg pit, whatever you call it. Do you want to cut this out? Me? Yeah. The honors? Ah, yes! Yeah. We have a scribe. Testing to make sure we got enough material. Oh man, this is gonna look awesome. Is there still enough for it to come out? Oh yeah, oh yeah, plenty. Look at that, that's gonna be yeah. beautiful. running into an issue that is my belt is ridiculously huge. We're in our second piece of leather and uh, we, we still yeah. have not uh, cut enough leather for the strap. Attempt number three. Yeah. So this was attempt number four. Do you reckon we've got it? So now you've just traced the outline yeah. of the actual sheath itself so you can cut it. Right. So are you telling me that we can touch mark this? We can, yeah. Hitting in a touch mark? Yeah. Okay, so no, no 12 pound sledge? Uh, no. Okay, how do we do this? Okay, so when we're marking leather, we need to wet it first. So this is veg tan leather, we didn't say that. This is veg tan, not chrome tan. What's uh, the difference between veg and chrome? Uh, veg tan will take uh, a stamp, it will take a tool mark and we can form it, we can wet it, squish it into shape and it will hold its shape. Chrome tan won't 
that is just the coolest sprayer ever. As you all know, I've been on a big sprayer kick lately and like finding the best ones. Look at this. How, how amazing is that? Oh, that's a fancy looking hammer. Mall. It's a mall? Oh, more like a moo. <laughs> it's not hard enough? Mm. No? Well. Okay. Too much? Just about enough? Yeah. Maybe a little lighter? I think that's the money. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. That'll work. Well, there we go. That looks cool. A little, bit of, a little bit of branding on there, you know, available now, alexsteelshop.com. <laughs> Do you have a stamp? I have my maker's mark, yeah. I th should we put that on there too? Woohoo! Whoa! Man, that came out stunningly. Hey, son of a plug, everybody go check out Bentley Leather on Instagram! Because now we dye it. We dye it. What do we use to dye it? This is the EcoFlow water stain. Some people prefer um, oil-based dyes. Personally, I like a water-based dye. Now, what is the difference between using an oil-based and a water-based dye? A headache. The headache? Yeah, the oil stuff just gets in your head. So what I would tend to do is I will wet the leather first, otherwise dye will soak straight in. If you wet the leather first, it soaks in a bit more slowly. It's not. And the slower the soak, the better? Yeah, you just get an even, more even colour. Ah, I like that. Sounds good. Yeah. Look how cool that looks. I'm about to make a mess. Yeah. Great. Am I doing it right? Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I've got to switch hands. Tire it out. So what, do we then wipe this down and flip it over and do the backside? Yeah, we will. So while the dye is drying, we're going to make the welt, which is that third layer, or that middle layer of the sheath. There aren't many sparks in leather work. No. It's peaceful, peaceful work, leather work. So again, just gonna put a little dye on the, on the welt. So we're about to burnish these edges. Basically, burnishing the edges makes them smooth, kind of polishes them up. To do it, we take a wooden slicker, or burnishing stick, whatever you want to call it, and we rub it really hard and really fast. So that burnishing looks like it's hardening the edge and making it slick. That's very cool. So. Okay, so we've just taken the sheath that we cut out. We've taken our template, so we can take this piece and line it up nicely. And we'll stick that on, and then we'll trim it off once it's stuck on. Mark this off with the scratch all. Okay, so what, just press on it? Yep, just line it up. As soon as it touches, it's pretty much going to stick. So make sure it's flush with the edge. And that's it, kids. Now we get to uh, hit stuff. Oh, we hit stuff? Yeah. Oh, I can do that. We're, you've come to the right place. <laughs> so what's the plan? Take our stitching irons, line them up. Right there? Yeah. Here we go! <gasps> we did it! Ha <laughs> ha! We punched leather. Maybe take a few... There we go. Punched some holes. Okay, there we go. We've got our stitching in it. No, we don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have holes for our stitching punched in. Our welt is in place. We have skived it, which means thinning it down slightly towards the tip. We have a gap for water to come out, you know, when you're out riding on your horse and you get, your, you get yourself wet because you go through a big old river, boy. And now let me tell you, if you ain't got drain holes in your knife sheath, your knife's gonna rust out. That got progressively yeah. more and more. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the question is though, does the knife even go in? <gasps> oh, look how beautiful it looks. <gasps> what? This is, look, that's, that's like design. <gasps> mm -mm. So now that means that we need to simply get this closed up, get it glued, and then 
we can stitch it. More contact cement. We'll dab on it. Dab, 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 dab. This is OG dabbing. Contact cement. You know, I think it's when I use solvents that I start, <laughs> I start singing. It's the same with dicum. So then what we need to do is we need to go back in time and punch the welt. Oh, that's a tight. Right, so that knife is gonna be getting wet. Right, so we'll wrap it up. Right, we've got the blade wrapped up. So what are we gonna do? So we're gonna run that under the tap, get some water inside, pop the knife in, form it around the knife. Let's go do that. Literally all we did is fill it up with water and then look how soft that is. Amazing, so now we put the knife in. Push it in, give it a pinch. <gasps> wow, that looks beautiful. Oh man, that is cool. Look at how beautiful that is now that we've put shape in it. Look how it hits the light with the contours. I like this whole leather stuff. This is fun. Great, more of this? Yep. Have a listen, have a listen. Ooh, Nelly. So we gotta learn how to stitch. Yeah. Oh boy. So stick this through this hand. <laughs> so start with the right. Yeah, start with the right. Into the next one. Start with the right. Come behind. Oh my goodness, that's tough. Ah! Okay. Start bringing that through. Turn and put your left needle in. Open that. Okay. And give this side a little tug. Just to, yeah, yep. Make sure it moves. Push this, pull this over, over the top. top. Good golly gee whiz. Oh my goodness. Okay, pull. Tighten. Great, I think we should work on the actual knife. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done like, I've done three stitches, so I think, I think I'm, I think I'm good. We just sewed it. So we've sewed it up. Now I think, what, we give it a little test? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. That's cool. Right, what do we have to do now? Sand it, burnish it? Yeah, sand and burnish, sand die and burnish. James, I can not thank you enough. He just taught me how to make a sheath, and I am beyond the moon. I made a sheath that holds a knife that I made with hand tools. Dude, I, <laughs> oh, I made a sheath! This is the entrance to a rabbit hole that I could very well fall down, and it's gonna be your fault, James. So guys, please, go check out his website. Go check out his Instagram, and it will be linked down below. I am immensely grateful for the welcome. education, for the, for the little inkling into a craft that I hope one day I will continue to learn. Thank you guys for watching. Check him out. It's a pleasure, as always, bringing you along this journey and this education. Usually I stumble along by myself. Today, James again, thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next episode.